I have come down to Hove in Brighton today to learn how to cook the perfect steak in the Argentinian restaurant Latino America. Right, so we are now in the kitchen. This is head chef Sebastian here at Latino America. <laughs> Sebastian is going to teach me how to cook the perfect steak. We're going to cook a steak medium today. And what cut are we having? Today we're having a sirloin steak. It's one of the lovely parts of the cow. Uh, if you can see over here, it's coming straight from Argentina. Yeah. Uh, the brand is uh, Rio Platense. Yeah. It's really, really, really good meat and really uh, nice springy meat. Yeah. So we are talking about good stuff. The fat that you have over there, mm -hmm. a little fat over there little fat over there. Yeah, a difference of the ribeye, the ribeye is gonna have a fat over here inside. Okay. So it's different. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different cut, but pretty much they're coming from the same piece. Today, what we're gonna be doing is a medium, all right? So we have to be looking, talking about temperatures, uh, temperature between 50 and 55 degrees in the center of the steak. I'm so, so excited be about this because I feel like I never quite get a steak right at home. But I think after today, I'm going to be a pro and uh, yeah. everyone's going to want to come to us for steak. Yeah, so, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> shall we get cooking? Yeah, of okay. course. This is the salt we're using. Yes, it's an Argentinian salt. It's between the sea salt and the kosher salt. Okay. Yeah? So, one thing that Sebastian did tell me is you don't cook with butter, you cook with olive oil, don't you? Uh, yes, we use olive oil. Not, in a, not too much, just a little bit to give a shiny surface mm -hmm. to the steak mm -hmm. and that's gonna help us to make a nice crust on the Lovely. top. Lovely. Yeah? I think a lot of people must know about the hand rule. Palm of the hand, yeah? Just relax it. This is gonna be your rare. Yeah? We close it. Oh. Just close it. Don't don't make pressure, okay? Because then we're gonna add in some pressure and you're gonna so red medium red yeah you can see that the muscle on your hand start to become like this yeah yeah if you put a little bit of pressure yeah like you're gonna punch somebody that's gonna be your medium okay and even harder it's gonna be medium well okay yeah or you can go over here perfect all right okay let's cook if you are in your house uh iron pan is the best yeah the only thing is temperature yeah need to be really hot we start first with a little bit of olive oil all right just a little bit of olive oil on top of the steak you sweet you turn it over a little bit more that's enough just a pinch of salt on one side and into the other one okay now we are ready to go Onto the ground. To the grill. <laughs> if you see, I leave the steak outside of the fridge yeah. for a few minutes when we were doing the interview. So now the meat is get relaxed, lost the cold of the fridge. Yeah? So now it's gonna be everything perfect. smooth and perfect. Yeah? So we took a tongue so we don't get burned. Yeah? And we start placing the steak 45 degrees like this. You can put it like this, you can put it like this, whatever you want. But you have to respect one thing, is the flip of the steak. Once you put the steak on the pan, on the grill, whatever, just leave it there. I start counting, three minutes. It's gonna be three minutes on each side. So we have two sides, but we have other two sides. So it's yeah. gonna be four sides. Yeah. So that's gonna give us around 12 minutes. Okay. But you can see that we start getting the mark of the grill and then it start changing the color yeah so what we do is this bomba easy peasy and you count one minute and a half again uh -huh. pretty much two minutes yeah hold this thing yeah oh my goodness now we flip it oh i mean if you, if you can see like yeah. this can i fail yeah yes of course Oh yeah. Oh my One gosh, thing. I just licked my finger. That was amazing. Yeah, you see? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look how like nice and crispy that is. 
Oh. Yeah. So basically, now the steak is done. Okay. You see oh my the two gosh. photos in the two yes. sides. Yeah. We're gonna leave it rest on top of the tray and just then, for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna slice it. Okay. So that's the steak. What we're gonna be doing is just slicing it like this. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right. That's perfect. And here we are. The perfect medium. It's that up to you. Good. Mm. Nice. One for the camera. One for you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Well, so basically that's how you stay, yeah, how you cook a steak. Come here. Thank you so much. Well, I've learned a lot today. Thanks, Sebastian. I've really enjoyed it, but I'm now going to tuck into a little bit more steak. Lovely. Bye, guys. See ya. Oh, my gosh. So good. Mum, here. <laughs>